everybody, it's Johnny the Caveman with the Carnivore Caveman Keto Couple. So, my friend Eva here, say hi Eva. Hi. We just got done ice climbing. With a big group of us. The rest of the group is still ice climbing and they're still there. Eva and I have to go back to work and uh, so we're driving home. What's really funny is you all know I am carnivore. This is a vegan right here. <laughs> <laughs> so this is proof that vegans and carnivores can get along together. And we've been talking in the car about, you know, the different diets and basically what did we, what did we end up coming to agreement on, Eva? Well, uh, <laughs> obviously different diets or different lifestyles work for different people. And, um... <laughs> Absolutely. She's a little we, nervous being on, on film. I'm, but, not, I'm yeah. just trying to work this, but, right. you know, obviously, maybe Johnny will never be a vegan, and I'll never be a carnivore, because we have a very different uh, opinions about yep. what works for different people, and how healthy our lifestyles are. But you know what? We can still hang out and yeah. have a freaking ton of fun and we can talk about each other's lifestyles right. and not get angry at each other and it's great. Yeah, and I think what we both really agree on is that you have to take responsibility for your health and fitness, would you say? Yes, absolutely. And. I think we're both kind of a proof of that what we do individually works for us. Um, you know, we both ice climb and rock climb. I mountaineer. That's what John is gonna do next. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> and uh, we both feel amazing, and uh, we both feel our bodies are super strong and our lifestyles are pretty sustainable. Right. And uh, we are thriving in what we do it. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I think one of the important thing is that you have to take responsibility for your health and your fitness and whatever diet or lifestyle that you choose, if it gets you motivated, it's great. If it gets you off the standard American diet, with which Eva and I both agree is horrible for us. We're, we're seeing people get heavier and heavier and more and more unhealthy. We both agree that the standard American diet has to go and you need to replace it with something that will get you healthy, whatever it may be. Um, and I was telling Eva about find a passion. Find a passion. Eva has a lot of passion. She's a trail runner, an ultra marathon runner, a biker, a skier, you know. I have all my outdoor activities that Deb and I do, and you've got to find a passion and just get out there, get motivated, and take your health into your own hands. And also, sometimes when people listen into what you do, um, they might get a little intimidated because they think, oh, you run 100 mile races, you climb up big mountains, you do high altitude mountaineering, you ice climb. I could never do that. Yes, you can. Right, right. It We're takes all capable baby of more than we realize. And lots of patience to get there. But if you never start, you'll never know if you can actually do stuff like that. That's right. Take the first step. You always got to, you know, you got to make the, the, the commitment. Take the first step and go for it. Um, and also patience. Uh, the results will not come immediately. But just stick with your resolutions right. of making some changes if that's yeah. what you want. And yeah. you can really live an amazing life. Right. And, you know, we were talking how my whole six-pack reveal and this six-pack thing has been a three-year work in progress and I was thinking I was going to get them in a year and now three years later it's finally starting to happen. Um, what we were laughing about is when, when we get heavy, when people get heavy and out of shape, you didn't do it in a year. It probably took 30 years. So it's not gonna, you're not gonna get in shape and get six pack abs in three months or three weeks or whatever. It's, it's a commitment and it's just important to take the first step and make it happen. 
so. This is proof that a vegan and a carnivore <laughs> can get along great. See? And, yeah, I and, love Johnny. And I, I, I want to, you know, there's a lot of vegans and carnivores back and forth and everything. Let's just all agree to disagree and do what works for you. And if you're getting the results, it's all good. If you're getting off the standard American diet, it's great. So I think Evan and I can really agree on that. And uh, yeah, and get out there and try ice climbing. And here's some pictures of a carnivore and a vegan ice climbing. So check all this stuff out. Okay, guys, till next time, remember, I'm not even going to say it because I got a vegan. Usually I say meat heels, but, you know, hey, veggies whatever works heal. for you, meat and veggies <laughs> heel. All right, guys, see ya. Bye.